Hi guys, Ashley here. Welcome to the next episode of Ashley's Digital China. Today we're going to talk about a super hot and exciting topic, which is the metaverse. Yes, what is this metaverse that everybody's talking about, and how do we, in the professional business world, prepare for it? Well, the metaverse concept is not new. It has existed for many years, where it has developed into this virtual world and digital living space. Linked and created by cool means of technology, in essence, the metaverse transforms the two-dimensional world of the internet into a three-dimensional one, where it lets you integrate your five senses into this virtual environment through a smart device. But why suddenly this year, last year, everyone in the world was talking about the metaverse? Well, there is a saying: technology is always eager for new products. Capital is eager for new experts, and users are eager for new experiences, and that's what it's all about. The world is transforming right now. Facebook renamed itself into Meta. Global technology giants, gaming and content providers, and FMCG brands are all driving this trend towards the future of reality. And 2021 was actually dubbed the year of metaverse by the market. So, how about the metaverse technology? What is behind it? At its core, metaverse is just a collection and the process of some underlying technology, such as extended reality, AI, blockchain, and many more. Robin Lee, the founder of Baidu, even said that China has massive amount of data and rich application scenarios, and at the same time has strong policy support. China is about to usher in the golden ten years of AI industry expansion. Well, AI is surely happening, and so does metaverse. Indeed, the digital lifestyle and economy are booming in China, and the country's total digital economy is right now ranked second in the world after the U.S. China also tops the list of nations with the most 5G networks, followed by just the U.S. and Korea. In fact, China's 14th five-year plan and the outline of its long-term goals of 2025 clearly put forward accelerating digital development and building a digital China in its plans. So, building a real metaverse requires a breakthrough in technology such as 6G. China has announced. Such breakthroughs in 6G technology in January 2022, where the Purple Mountain Lab in Nanjing has set the world record for real-time 6G transmissions. 6G, and what's that all about? Even well, let's take a look at some numbers for comparison to comprehend the scale of the shift. Today, most mobile internet connections in the world are 4G, with speed up to 100 megabit per second. Purple Mountain Lab has reached a speed that. 2,000 times faster, up to 200 gigabits per second. In other words, if the speed was a train that travels between A and B in 3.5 hours, three and a half hours with 4G, that same trip with 6G will be made in less than seven seconds. Yes, three and a half hours reduced to seven seconds. Just take that in. And already in December, ex-chairman of China Mobile. Wang Tianzhou has announced that China will launch its first commercial 6G network by 2030. The same timeline was echoed by the most recent Huawei report. When these predictions came out, few could imagine that a real terahertz 6G communication station will be tested just a few weeks later. Also, it is crucial to understand that while most people who hear about 6G only focus on the internet speed. Aspect of things, there are surely other, often much more exciting things that will come with it, such as ultra low signal latency, ultra high communication energy efficiency, ultra high reliability, safety, and localization. There is a general consensus within the digital community in China and abroad that 6G will change the world beyond recognition. And here's a few ideas how. Firstly. Ultra smart city technology with full automation of traveling and flying vehicles,、uh, city infrastructure and healthcare. Just think about that. Number two, Internet of Feelings, the transmission of complex spectrum of sensory stimuli. For instance, perfume, or you will be able to taste artificial flavor. 
Number three, holographic communication, enough said. Number four, ultra smart telemedicine based on the communication that is tactile. For instance, a smart headband that reconstructs the brain signal and presents them in a 3D video. Number four, our metaverse, of course, which is multidimensional augmented reality as the basis of all business and consumer applications. In essence, within the next decade, the world could become a merger of physical, biological and digital reality with, some say, 10 billion people and 50 billion ultra-smart devices, all powered by 6G IoT. Okay? Mind blown! I'm sure mind blown! China and the rest of the world are building metaverse, but how will China's metaverse be different from the rest of it? Well, it will definitely be clean, controlled, compliant, and likely crypto-free. As in China, it is most common to have the, an industry being built first and then regulated after. The metaverse too will be regulated as it is built, and there will be many new companies entering and creating this new version of reality. While many say China's metaverse efforts lag behind the US and South Korea with less investment by domestic tech giants, the interest has surely begun to surge end of last year. And in the past year, more than 1,000 companies have applied for around 10,000 metaverse-related trademarks in the country. So let's take a look at Chinese tech giants joining and building the metaverse reality today in the country. Firstly, Tencent. Roblox is a popular online game platform that the market thinks resembles very close to what the metaverse world is at this stage. Tencent grasped this opportunity and acquired the domestic agency rights from Roblox in May 2019 already and even invested a whooping 520 million US dollars in the game last year. These investments don't come as a surprise as games are considered one of the entrants to the metaverse, of course. Next, Alibaba. Well, Alibaba established an XR lab in October 2019 as well, where it mainly focuses on technological research based on AR and VR. Alibaba's Tmall even held the first metaverse art exhibition, inviting 15 brands, including Wu Liangye and Xiaopeng Motors and Burberry to participate. And, of course, Baidu. Baidu has launched China's first ever metaverse platform called Xirang in December last year, where it held a Baidu AI developer conference. This was the first developer conference held in the metaverse in China, with a capacity of 100,000 people. There's been other companies, of course, working in this space, including ByteDance, Bilibili, and many, many more. So what can Metaverse bring to consumers, marketing and e-commerce today? The history books of the future might say, before the Metaverse existed, the Internet could only transmit information, but now it is able to transmit senses. This is great news and now brands can not only utilize the Metaverse and showcase their products to consumers, they can also explain their culture, experience and resonance behind them. Showcasing products in the metaverse makes the online social interaction uh, much more entertaining and consumption much more immersive. In a virtual world where trust, money and identity are embedded in the environment, the relationship between brands and consumers not only revolves around the products, but also their interaction and experiences, of course. So this change in the brand and consumer relationship also raises loyalty and makes every commercial step more and more fun. While we are still years away from the real metaverse, some companies are already using the metaverse in their marketing. By launching, for example, NFTs. We've all heard so much about NFTs, the non-fungible tokens, which are a form of digital ledger that can be sold and traded. NFT data units may be associated with digital files, such as photos, videos, audios, GIFs, and hereby sold and bought as digital possessions, art pieces, 
or real estate. Since the metaverse is a virtual world where NFTs can be, as I said, virtually anything, a house, a car, or a painting, these assets can be traded and circulated freely. So brands are no longer limited to, for instance, providing physical products or services, but they can also provide services and virtual products inside the metaverse. So gimmicky? Yes. Interesting? Most certainly. Has potential? Very likely. For, say, popular Chinese brand Nayuki's Tea released NFT blind boxes for its first series of Nayuki NFT collectibles, creating the first NFT in the tea industry in the country. Or McDonald's China released its first NFT tour a few weeks back, dubbed Big Mac Rubik's Cube, to celebrate the 31st anniversary of its entry into the Chinese mainland market. It's announced that it would give away 188 NFTs to employees and consumers. Great demand driver, of course, too. Now, how about the virtual influencers? Well, brands can use virtual influencers as their brand ambassadors in virtual world and even in our digital world, let's say on social media. Compared with traditional idols, virtual representatives are rather safe from, let's say, PR crisis, and they're rather cooperative as well. In fact, China's virtual idol industry has been growing for a while right now, and already in 2021, the industry scale was predicted to reach a 107.49 billion yuan, with more than 4,000 virtual anchors live streaming every month on platforms such as Bilibili. Virtual idols can be simple or complicated. For instance, they can be divided into two big categories, 2D and 3D idols. The production process of 2D ones is relatively simple, while 3D idols development takes much longer and it is much more costly. According to IT report, nearly 400 million Chinese today are following virtual idols. And this is clearly just the beginning. Beyond that, what else will the metaverse concept drive? Well, here are a few ideas. Firstly, extended reality, or in other words, VR and AR development. They will surely drive each other. At this stage, AR and VR's role in the metaverse is to enrich content and strengthen interactions. Nike, for example, announced recently that it would launch a virtual world called Nikeland in cooperation with Roblox. Players would put on digital versions of Nike products on their avatars in this metaverse-like game. Talking about games, yes, they will further boom and evolve in the age of metaverse. The assets and appearances in the virtual world especially in open source games, can all be used as social currency that consumers are willing to spend real money on. Similarly, a large number of brands can enter the gaming scene and become an important part of the gaming industry, as game elements such as plots, characters, scenes can all be leveraged to promote both real world and virtual products. And another growth area that's changing fast is digital advertising. Besides creating digital worlds or brand images, companies and their products are also showing up in the metaverse through clearly digital advertising. The metaverse creates a new world for consumers where everything is possible. That's new scenarios, new use cases, new user journeys, and as long as you are creative, everything in the real world can be realized in the metaverse plus much, much more. This also means that it is possible to move real-world advertising, be it offline or online, into the virtual world and in this process make much cooler, much more tailored and much more fun advertising industry. So from digital marketing, we're going to go to virtual marketing. Think about that. The shift has started slowly already. Take a video game advertising technology company, Bitstack, for example. Bitstack initially engaged in outdoor advertising in the real world, but they have since transferred this technology into the virtual world. So what's still to come for us marketers? It all remains to see. So what shall we prepare for? The metaverse, as we imagine it, now has its start in games. Games with strong social features, augmented in rich content, 
creative incentives and the many playable themes brought about by being in a virtual world where you can be anyone, anywhere, doing anything. With all this in mind, we can say that digital marketing, as I said above, will likely evolve into virtual marketing and will get its start in the metaverse by entering these gaming platforms, implementing themselves in the gaming experiences and player creation process, and even cooperating with players in product development and sales. In addition, the starting point of the metaverse is not a platform, but content that can be independent, self-iterative and multidimensional enough to attract users to participate in this experience and even start creating themselves. With 6G, blockchain, AI and XR, the world will change beyond recognition within the next decade or two. The way we study, work, have fun, market and sell will change and evolve too. These are some exciting times and we are preparing for them together. Now, this is it for today. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with your friends and check me out on LinkedIn under Ashley Dudarina for your daily dose of China Business Insights. Meanwhile, stay awesome and chat soon. My next video is coming up.